we can clearly see a theme and can add context to the image using our logic. The picture is of what appears to be a walk-in fridge. It doesn't raise any red flags at first because this guy does own a pizza parlor, so it would make sense to install a walk-in fridge. But this walk-in fridge is not at the pizza parlor. It is at another location. And a comment posted by one of James Alafanta's friends says, hashtag kill room. What the hell, am I right? With everything we know, we'd be crazy not to investigate. And one person actually did. He found out where this kill room is. Is. And it nearly cost him. Am I right? With everything we know, we'd be crazy not to investigate. And one person actually did. He found out where this kill room is. And it nearly cost him his life. James Elefantes owns a museum, but he does not want us to talk about this museum or even know that it exists. It is not open to the public and is creepily close to a kindergarten and a playground. The kill room or walk-in fridge we saw posted on Instagram is inside this building, as proven by a YouTuber named Ryan. However, shortly after his discovery and uploading the video to YouTube, he received death threats from the owner, James Elefantes. These are the text messages uh, from when we got off of our phone call. Uh, when we left the phone call, uh, I had told him that I was going to delete the video. Uh, and the first thing he texted me back was uh, just the Pegasus shit. Figure out how to do it. No waves. Um, so what he meant by that is like he doesn't, he doesn't want people thinking there's any fishy reason that the video got deleted. So he wanted me to figure out a way to get rid of it without causing any more questions. Uh, me, I was still freaking out, so I said, I'm a super reasonable guy, you don't have to scare me like that. Uh, then he sent me a picture of me and my girlfriend, and said, cute. Uh, now, I knew this was him threatening me and trying to scare me, uh, but I went ahead and said, is that you being nice? Um, trying not to fall into his little trap. Uh, uh, but he said, not yet. So call quick, then I can go to bed with less worries. I let him know the mods deleted the post off of Oak and that I'd call him in five minutes. And he said, everything they say about me is true, except I don't like kids at all. And he says, and I don't really want to hear about you again from anyone. Good night, Ryan. And I said, I'm telling you I'm done. This is way too real. And again, it reminds me that I have a cute girlfriend. And I said, thanks, man. Then he says, XO. And he sent me two ping pong paddles some kind of kissy lips, some painted nails, and some money. Before we actually talk about this museum, let's talk about the name. It looks like James has an obsession with Greek mythology. This building is called Pe Pegasus Museum. Pegasus is the symbol for unbridled artistic expression. Pegasus likeness is usually used to symbolize the protest of censorship in art. And now we know what James Alephantis considers art. But why the hell would this museum need a fridge? And why is it closed to the general public? What kind of art is this museum storing? If it has cold rooms and walk-in fridges, it must be perishable art. James Alephantis is a member of the Arts and Embassy program, a program that allows him to import and export living art and bypass international customs. This museum is also built on top of an abandoned DC catacombs. Elephantus's properties come at Ping Pong, Transformer, and Pegasus museums perfectly align with newly discovered tunnels. That's the headline of this post on Vogue. So all these properties hover over Dr. Dwyer's catacombs. Now think about that for a second. And think about this picture here. Let us noodle on it for a second. All of James Elephantus's properties perfectly align with what we know about the newly discovered tunnels. This user even punched in Pegasus Museum and it was a perfect match to the locations of Dr. Dwyer's tunnels. The underground catacombs stretch all the way from the museum owned by Elephantus down to his pizza parlor. If enough work was done to the catacombs, it could be used for underground trafficking. Pictures from inside the museum show that James Elephantus is laying massive pipes that lead from the walk-in fridge, or what his friends call the kill room. Again, this could mean nothing, but the way that James Elephantus reacted when the location of this museum was discovered 
raises massive red flags. James Elephantis threatened to kill the guy's mother and girlfriend if he did not delete the video and stop talking about his museum. He even tried to intimidate the boy by admitting that everything he heard about him is true. This kind of extreme reaction to someone simply finding a location to a museum you allegedly own, I believe is proof that he is hiding something he doesn't want seen. Is James Elephantis involved in child sex trafficking? Either way, I can't say. Although, taking everything that we know into consideration, it is extremely hard not to suspect it. His taste in art, his obsession with the perverse side of Greek mythology, his questionable and secretive business choices, and his reputation as one of the 50 most powerful people in Washington, D.C. for being just a fucking pizza boy. So, James Elephantis, if you are watching this, can you honestly blame people for suspecting that you're involved in child sex trafficking?